Hey guys, it's Matt. I'm going to show you how to use Sense within Pro Tools. I have a session loaded up here, and inside of this session, I have a trumpet section. To the right of my trumpet section is an auxiliary track. Auxiliary tracks only pass audio. They will not hold audio, they will not store audio, and you cannot record to an auxiliary track. Auxiliary tracks are perfect for effects processing. One thing that I'm going to do as soon as I have my auxiliary track is command click the solo button. And you'll notice that it grays out. That means that even if I have these tracks soloed, you're always going to be hearing the input that comes out of these tracks. This is perfect for when you're dealing with reverbs and other effects. Now the last thing I need to do on my auxiliary track is make an input for it. I'm going to go to my I.O. section and go to my input menu and select the next available bus that I have, 23 and 24. I want to rename this bus so later on in my session I know exactly what this bus is doing. I'm going to right click the nameplate and click rename. And I'm going to label this bus trumpet verb. Now that I have an input going to my auxiliary track which contains my reverb, I'm going to go to my tracks, my trumpets, my low section, and I'm going to start sending these to the reverb. I have a room mic, and I'm going to mute the close mic so you can hear that. And I'm going to mute the room mic so you can hear the close mic. Now what I want to do is blend these two together in the reverb, and I'm going to do that by going to my send menu, and assigning bus trumpet verb to both my tracks. Now a quick and easy way to drag this over to here instead of going through the menu is to hold down option and drag the nameplate. You can see I have a send menu that popped up here. I have my mute, my solo, my fader, and a pan to pan between the two channels. Now you'll notice that there's some other things going on up here. I can change my send to send B, C, all the way down to J. I can change where my send is going via this menu. I can send it to a new bus if I please, or click out of it to keep it the same. You'll see that there's some other options here, one of them being prefader. What prefader allows you to do is if it's on, you can mute your original tracks, and when you turn up the send, you're still going to get some reverb. So we're just going to be hearing the reverb now with prefader on. If I turn prefader off, no longer will I hear the reverb because the tracks are muted. There's one other option that you have here, and that's link to main panner. Right now, my pans are independent of one another. My main track, which is being bussed to the reverb, is panned left by 30%. My reverb, send, is being panned right 47%. If I click FMP, which stands for follow main pan, it's going to abide by the pan that's on the track. Now if I move it, it's going to move the pan on my send. These are some convenient options when using sends with reverbs and other effects processing. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.